Uh, hi, I'm Morag Stokes and I, I live here in Wellington and today we're in the first floor gallery of the St James Theatre in Courtney Place. I was given this opportunity just a few weeks ago so it was put together as pretty much a, a last minute thing and it's a mixture of um, old and new work and also um, my different types of work and by that I'm referring to my drag paintings, text paintings and photographic work. The works behind me here are my most recently completed works um, and I'll probably continue with this series. I call the series Taheke and that's the Maori word for cascade or waterfall and I've written the word into paint all the way through those, those paintings to create what you see on the surface. Um, I'm also very interested with those paintings in playing around with space and I'm interested in the spaces that open up in painting. Um, there's a bit of a, a, an allusion to that in the title I gave this show, which is Mind the Gap. I'm interested in, in taking people away from conventional landscape viewing of space. And although those have landscape qualities about them, um, you can't really make sense of them. The spaces were more interesting for me hung this way. Um, and again, if you look at it, you can see things bulging, ground bulging out where in a landscape it wouldn't. Um, and gaps opening up between some of the planes of colour in the work. And I'm endlessly fascinated by that. I've called this series of work Mana Land Lines uh, because it's based on photographically accurate land lines from the, uh, the contours of, of the island and what I could see from beyond the island. They're different from the other paintings in that they use the materials I found on Mana Island. So I made paints with um, mud from the river, charred driftwood, uh, um, rotten driftwood, scrapings from the cliff, sand from the beach and a very rare type of paint called Takahe Poo paint. I've set the work up so that it's very difficult to be read as a conventional landscape. Um, this one, for example, has got elements of landscape in it, as has that one, which is why I've set, uh, hung them in landscape format. But some of the other ones I've taken right out of the landscape format and hung them on their side so that the viewer is basically not allowed to view them as conventional landscapes so the whole illusion of the landscape has been taken out of it and the viewer is left with materials sitting on a surface they're looking at what is actually part of Mana Island rather than a landscape type illusion of Mana Island so this series had to do with busting people out of their conventional ways of viewing landscape paintings. Now this painting is my favourite painting in the show. Um, it's called Paint It Black. In this work I've written the Rolling Stones lyrics of the song Paint It Black over and over again on the canvas in red and green paint. So there is no black paint in this painting at all. And the song is about movement into blackness, a psychological movement into blackness. And what I've done here is to take away all the literal meaning of the words of the song and replace it with movement into blackness in paint. So what I'm talking about is a painting process where red and green operate together to produce black. If you stand right back from this painting and squint your eyes a little like that, you, you see uh, essentially an image-free black painting. However, if you get up close, what you're looking at is a very, very complex surface developed from red and black paint. And the process I use results in some incredibly fine hair-like qualities of paint. Um, and I love that materiality of the paint um, and, and how it responds to the process of painting that I use. 